Hi, I'm Hunter Foster, uh, also known as Senior Airman Foster of the United States Air Force. I wanted to start by asking you a question. Hopefully it'll provoke your mind to interact with what I'm saying today. And that question is, what is a hero? See, a hero to me is really an opinion or an idea of what you think lives up to the title, a hero. Um, me being a military man, my standards are pretty high um, for who I see fit to earn that title and be known as a hero. A hero is someone, my hero is someone that you may have never heard of. He's ex-Air Force uh, Tech P. He was and he also was a Navy SEAL and a qualified Army Ranger. And his name is David Goggins. He's also known as one of the toughest men in the world. He is now retired from all life of hell, of course, but he spends his time as a ultra marathon runner. Um, he's a husband, he's also an author, and he speaks to millions about changing their minds and their mindset of they making themselves their worst enemy he tries to help them get out of that and become the best them possible that being said he leads the way he blazed a trail and leads the way for others his journey began with um he was 21 years old 300 pounds and he was an exterminator and he changed completely and when asked when he changed or what changed him he said I got tired of being haunted by the fact that I was nobody but he was to himself he, he thought of himself as nobody but he changed he lost a hundred pounds in three months and joined the Air Force and later than the SEALs but he he became what he thought was somebody. And that's what being a hero is about to me. And anyone can be a hero. I'm not saying that you should join the military, and I'm, but I am saying that anyone can be a hero anywhere, anytime, but that's your decision. David Goggins loves the 40% rule. The 40% rule is, it states that we, quit we usually quit about 40% of our at 40% of our potential that's not even halfway we we decide to quit but um he says that he also says that uh humans are like stock cars we all kind of look the same on the outside but underneath the hood there's immense potential and uh a governor a governor that's what keeps it at 40 percent without the governor you can go faster in a car so when you take the governor off of yourself you can watch your car rocket to over speeds of 130 miles an hour you can watch it you your potential is immense and David Goggins also says to exercise that extra 60% of what you're trying to accomplish, you have to have an animalistic mindset. But to be a hero, you don't have to be an animal. The only thing that you need really is a purpose. And that's the only thing that keeps military heroes from seeming like villains, really. It's their purpose to serve and protect the things that they love and respect. And the point of this whole thing is that military heroes are obviously one of a kind, but anyone can be a hero. Uh, to b just blaze, or bla people who blaze a trail and lead it, lead for others, lead others that way. That's what being a hero is all about. I began this with a question of what is a hero. Now I'll leave you with the question. What's stopping you from being one? Thank you.